Okay, here we go. This is my little all-in-one milk crate fishing box that I take in my canoe. And uh, it's got several features that I kind of like. I have my deep cycle battery mounted right inside here and then wired into it. <clears throat> I've got my navigation lights, which are just a matter of plugging them in. And you're ready to go and legal. And then you're uh, got a little holder over here for whatever I want to stick in it, extra rod holder, what have you. I've got my safety horn mounted here. That'll ah! warn the other boaters about any problems. Have an emergency screwdriver, just keep it there or whatever else I want to stick in there pair of pliers. Got my emergency sponge set up here to open everything up. I need to pop up a little extra water that's around. I've got a 12 volt power outlet wired right straight into the battery with a fuse in it. If you look down in here, I don't know if you can see it, I have a bilge pump mounted in the bottom of the crate so I can just set in the bottom of your boat and that's what this plastic tubing that's flopping around is all about. It uh, just float, throw it up over the side of your boat and push this little switch right there, and you got your bilge pump working. Then I have a manual compass just in case I'm out in the fog and everything else didn't work, but everything else is a pretty good idea. Now also over on the other side, if you look down in there, you can see I have an onboard battery charger. So just a one amp battery charger, tender, but uh, automatic. So when I get home, all I have to do is plug an extension cord in right there and this little puppy is ready to go. Charges the battery back up for the next fishing trip. And one of the other features that I have on here I mean, when I'm not using these parts, why well, we just take them out and store them down inside. But, then this is mounted on here, and all we have to do is pull these little fuses off there. I haven't tried this with one hand before, but might have a problem. Yeah, that wasn't very good for the video, but voila, then I have a 9-inch Garmin side scan, down scan sonar rig with the GPS mapping built right in that's mounted right on top of it here. Hooked up to the battery, all you have to do is plug her in and connect one little connection to the transducer. And the transducer, that's another whole different story, too. When you're trying to figure out how to mount a transducer on the bottom of a canoe that's being powered by a 5 horsepower motor creates another whole can of worms. It took a while to figure out what to do about it and make it portable and quick. We'll get into that a little later, but you, as you can see that I don't have my uh, sonar transducer plugged in, so it would only work on my charts and stuff, so and seeing as how I'm not out over the water, it doesn't show me much, but when I go out over the water, the cursor,
giving me satellite overlays on my maps that are supposed to be accurate within them. These are the original maps that are loaded, and then it put the overlay in the satellite imagery, which is pretty cool. But the side scan sonar stuff is even cooler. But enough for that. I got that mounted in there. Everything you need to go fishing, just about. A little rod holder built on the side. And I've got my little knife tied in, my ceramic knife tied in with a cord in the sheath, a pair of scissors. And we'll take this up at a later date. See y'all. This is Nick Guyver signing off.